Tight battle for favouritism between Floyd and Chick's pick. Floyd hasn't won for a long time. The red light goes on, though. And they're about to run. Set for a start, Gate Spring and they're racing. Just Act Natural, the first to hit the ground, but Mervyn's going to rush through and join him. And driving up right behind them will be Chicks Pick as they settle down from Caracapo. Little Fish getting back into the field with Floyd. And down on his inside, next to last, is War God. It's Mervyn who led them comfortably. Out by the 900 they go, and the Grey just arched his neck up in front, doing it easily. Nearly two lengths to the good of Chicks Pick down on the inside. Being closely attended by Just Act Natural. They're a length and a half clear of Caracapo. War God improving. Little Fish getting back second from last. And the tail ender is Floyd. Five lengths off Mervyn, who brought them to the 500. Nearing the home corner. It's Mervyn a length and a half to the other grey. Chicks Pick, who was able to peel out off the rail. War God's got right up near that vacated spot coming into the home corner from Just Act Natural. Then Caracapo, Little Fish, and the widest of them, Floyd. Mervyn led 200 from home. Here comes Chicks Pick, though. Draws along. Side. Floyd starting to charge down the outside with Little Fish. Chicks picks in front. Caracapo's coming through in the middle. Floyd is wide out. What a finish. They hit it. Caracapo. Caracapo in between horses from Floyd. Either Chicks pick or Little Fish for third. And close up is War God Mervyn. Just act natural behind those. Had whipped them in. It was always billed as one of those races. Difficult. On paper to try and evaluate and that's exactly how it has turned out with any one of four with a chance four strides from the line but Caracapo Chris Parnham has got the appropriate dive in the middle and has just won number two Caracapo from a very tight go in fact for second and third We wait for these numbers. Now, they've gone with five War God. That's not quite right, I don't think. On the inside, I, I don't think it is War God. It was back on the rail in behind them. So we'll just check that uh, before we proceed with the confirmation of those numbers after the running of the third. Caracapo by Husson from Smites's Rose, owned by Sam Trimboli, trained by Jimmy Taylor who's uh, almost run down there with his wonky knee into the yard. Chris Parnham has got it home. Those numbers have come down from the infield board. Now it's tight between Floyd, Chick's pick for second place and Little Fish as we wait for the full list of them. But that's win number seven now from 17. He's got a really, really effective winning strike right here and he just found the line when he needed to on the line. It was a drive, a dive. Caracapo just wins. Not sure about second and third. Floyd wide out. Jerry Noski. And on the inside of those chicks pick little fish. 2-4-3-1 they are. 2-4-3-1. A long head, a short half head in 1-10-10. 1-10-10 is the time for the race and 34.66. Well, to race four, the Glenroy Chaff handicap over the 1,200 metres and uh, no changes to report here going into the next event of the day. Well, that's as quickly as we've seen Jimmy Taylor move for a little while. Almost cartwheeled down there into the yard despite the recovering knee problem after that accident some months ago now. But he's down there and he's um, no doubt pretty happy with the, the photo result going his way here with Caracapo, Scotty been moving well for a while Darren but the tongue never stops Jimmy Taylor's always got a bit of a word to say and what did you say to Chris Parnham before the race Jimmy because this horse can be a little bit tricky we thought he'd be outside Mervyn but he just missed it a little bit and Chris being the good jockey he is he sort of took the sit and stayed there so lucky he didn't he ignored my instructions <laughs> you've had to be very patient with this horse uh, talk us through how many problems he's had Oh, it's just been a continual, as you know, he had two years off with the sacroiliac problem he had in his back. And um, like now, after the two years, he's won about uh, four out of five. So it's been worth the, worth the wait. I know back in the day when he was a sort of a three-year-old going through the grades very quickly that you thought that he could make group one level at some stage. Is he ever going to be able to get to that height with all the issues he's had? Probably not, but he'll get to listed company. Yeah, probably after Barraquee and Magnificio. We thought he was our next one coming along, and after he had the problems, didn't think we'd ever get there. But now he's, you know, he's won about six races. He's probably improving. He's shown a bit of versatility too. This is not the first time he's won from off the speed now. Uh, yeah, it's only because he can get a bit tardy in the gates, and you know he did that again today. And you know, obviously, Chris took it into his own hands to sit him.
Looks like there's a win in Laurentinio just around the corner. Yeah, we, we were a bit unlucky. We were posted for a while and Paddy made, showed great initiative to sort of steal a break on them and nearly got away with it. And how's your own body? Uh, no, not the best. I have to go in for another operation next week or so to clean up my knee, but um, we'll get there. Congratulations, Jimmy, and good luck. Thanks, Scotty. There's Jimmy Taylor. It's really good to see him back at the races after he's had some pretty serious issues with that leg of his. And obviously, good luck to the family uh, with the recovery still to come. Chris Parnham is just weighing in now on Karakapa, and we'll get a word on him in a really good little finish there to race number three. We'll grab Chris. Chris, uh, what was he like behind the gates? Because he can get a bit fiery. No, he was actually pretty chilled out today behind the barriers. Um, just had to get someone up with him. He got a little bit stirred up in there, and he missed it just a neck, and uh, sort of had to go to plan B after that. And Got a good run through, um, made a bit of a risky decision before the corner to stay in, but um, I thought that would have worked better for us, and it did. He looked like he took the gap quite comfortably. Yeah, he did. Um, that horse in front of me just looked like it was coming off the bridle around the corner and just thought if I went around him, um, it might be too much ground for him to sort of uh, make up, but going through him sort of worked for us. You've got an incredible book on paper. What do you think is your best ride for the rest of the day? Talladega looks very hard to beat, and um, one's old lady in the two features, so I'm looking forward to them. Congratulations, Chris, and hopefully we're chatting again later. Thanks, Scott. There's Chris Parnham with the win of Caracapo in race number three here at Ascot.